Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Today, we're sitting in the 2017 Nissan Titan XD Cummins, the Pro 4X, the off-road version. Now, I've test driven this truck a lot of times, and it's made our I buy it list more than once. And so, there's a lot of full reviews out there on our channel here, and there's a playlist for this truck down below in the information section, as well as linked at the end of the video, so you can see some full reviews. But what we're doing today, is we're taking the 4X out here for a short trail ride out here on my favorite trail here in the desert. Get an idea of what this off-road suspension is really all about. That's what's coming up. Now what you're seeing here isn't true off-roading. This is just a nice little tight trail that I like to test trucks on, especially those with an off-road suspension, because it's pretty rough and it lets you get a little bit of speed on it. So it really does give you a chance to see how this thing rides and see how it handles, see how it holds together over the rough stuff. Now the Pro 4X does have its own unique suspension. It's got its own grill got skid plates down below. I really do like this body color grill on this truck because it just looks better to me. It doesn't have all that chrome. It's not garish like some of the other versions of this truck. But with these 18 inch wheels and off-road tires that we've got here, this has a little bit of a softer ride than you're going to find on some of the other trim grades that have larger wheels. And the suspension tuning with these dampers tends to be a little bit more tuned towards getting out here in the rough and, and not really beating you up. And so far, that's what I'm finding here is that this chassis already very, very robust because this is the XD, it's fourth the weight of this diesel. Um, it's a very stiff chassis. It's almost three quarter ton, one ton type chassis, but you've got a suspension and you've got a load setting on the suspension that's a little bit softer, which means this has a really nice ride out here in the rough. I just really love the way this drives and it still has hydraulic steering. So the steering Steering, uh, it tends to be kind of heavy, but it does have a lot of feel compared to some other trucks out there that don't have this type of steering anymore. If you're doing some pretty heavy duty rock crawling, which I'll point out that I've done in this truck up here in the desert, a lot of great places where we can really do some heavy duty off-roading and um, with this diesel, this is a great truck to do that with because this engine, especially in four low and that tip in on the throttles ever so light, this thing just literally crawls and idles up a wall. I mean, this truck is really amazing in that respect. So even though I'm not doing a lot of off-roading here in this video today, I've done it in this exact truck and it does work quite well. But the biggest thing I'm really taking away here is the fact that this is a very comfortable truck, even out here on the desert washboard road where I can get a little bit more speed on. This is a place where three quarter ton trucks tend to beat you to death, especially those like the Ford FX4, the F250, the Z71 and the Silverado. When I've driven those out here, they really tend to ride really buckboard rough. This has got a nice soft compliant ride. And when you do hit those jounce bumpers, it doesn't crash through the structure here. It has a nice soft uptake when it comes to the bottom out on the suspension. And it does bottom out. All trucks have that happen to them, but uh, it, it's just how bad does it wreck your day? You know, that's the thing. And the handling out here, because this is a heavy truck, it doesn't skate around on this washboard road too much. It actually tends to do a pretty good job of controlling it. Now this does of course have stability control and that does kick in on you at some point. And these tires actually do have a pretty good amount of grip. These aren't super extreme off-road tires, but they are a little bit more up the scale than you're going to find on some pickups out there when they advertise an off-road package. So they're, they're sort of a nice common ground, a little bit more grip out here on the rough. Now I will point out when you're on the pavement, you do notice the fact that you have off-road tires. They don't quite have the grip level in a curvy road on the mountains on pavement that you're going to find uh, with regular street tires. Definitely a noticeable difference there. And this powertrain, as I said before, um, I just really happen to like it. I like diesels in general, 310 horsepower, 555 pound-feet of torque. It really does fit this truck pretty well. 
Another thing I'd like to point out here on the washboard road and some of this rough stuff is the fact that this is doing a pretty good job of keeping a tight structure here. Sometimes when the suspension gets stiff on a truck like this, you get rattling in the door frames. I'm not getting any shuddering in the suspension, any rattling in the steering or anything like that that I have got in other trucks. So um, it feels solid and this truck's actually got some miles on it. This isn't fresh off the assembly line. Bottom line is you just get the sense that this thing's going to feel well bolted together 10 years down the road, 100,000 miles down the road, and possibly even longer. Compared to the Ford FX4 and the F250 that I've recently driven with a diesel, again, this really feels a little bit more solid, even though that is theoretically a heavier duty truck. The GMC Sierra and the Chevrolet Silverado, both again, HD off-road suspension trucks I've driven out here, those were really rough. Those trucks really have a tight, stiff suspension and you feel every bone in your body get jarred by every bump out here on the road. So um, I really think the takeaway here is most comfortable ride in class, even though this really sort of straddles both the half ton and three quarter ton classes. Um, it really just threads the needle nicely. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed that short trail ride here. It was really just sort of a way to give you an idea of how the Pro 4X differs from some of the other trucks we've already tested. And uh, as I said before, this is a truck that's been on my ad buy it list, and it, it is. It still remains on my buy it list because um, it's just really, to me, the truck in the full-size segment, be it half ton or three-quarter ton, it just really fires on all cylinders for me. It's got a good interior, well put together. It feels solid. It feels of quality. And this diesel engine really does have a nice purr to it. I just, I love it. Now, the one thing I'll point out is if I were actually buying one of these things, this truck right here is exactly the one I'd buy. This color, this trim grade, maybe that's why I'm smiling so much. Anyway, if you want a more detailed review on any of the Titan and Titan XD trucks we've test driven, click right there. That's our full playlist for all of them. We have quite a few test drives out there or simply subscribe to our YouTube channel and see other videos like this. That would be right there. Either way, stay tuned.